Hello science friends, I will show you how to draw the insulin signaling pathway in PowerPoint. This is a part of my signaling pathway tutorial series. You can find the full list on my website, drawvalmed.com. I teach at the University of Amsterdam and I'm sharing these techniques with you because many scientists from the developing country have contacted me and asked for help to make these illustrations. That is why I'm making these videos on YouTube. These videos will never go viral because they are too specific. You can support me by like, subscribe, and use the thanks button to donate. You will not only be helping the channel, but also scientists around the world. Without further ado, I'll start with the tutorial. So we are going to draw the insulin signaling pathway in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is sufficient enough to make most of the pathway illustrations. I want to change the canvas size, design, slide size. So here we can customize the slide size. Um, Let's do like maybe 40 to 30. The first step to make a signaling pathway is to draw a cell. Did I do it too fast? But I think you guys can find it right uh, in the shape form. In the shape format, you can grab the oval tool and make the cell. And then the outline. Let me use this color, dark teal. You can choose whichever color you like, but um, we need to increase the weight of the outline. So we can open the sh format shape panel. Here we have, we can customize the thickness. So I'll go for 10 points. Okay, then I'll put a radial gradient into the cell. Let me see. Shape fill gradient. Mm, I'll go to more gradient. Then it will open the format shape panel. Then fill, we can switch to gradient fill. Uh, type, let's change it to radio. Direction from the center. And I will remove two of the gradient stops. And we have white at the center. And if you want the highlight to be very focused, you need to move the gradient stop a little bit away from the end of the gradient slide. I don't know why this happens in PowerPoint, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. What a coincidence that you're using the same laptop. This is the cell. Then let's create an insulin receptor. So I'll grab the round corner rectangle and make something like this. I'll keep a copy of it on the side. Okay, then insulin, let's see. I think I want my insulin to be in a triangular shape. Okay. I will turn it out, turn it 180 degrees. Right now I will put a radio gradient into our insulin receptor. Let me change uh, the color. Uh, we can change it to something else. Maybe purple. Make sure you make a copy of the insulin before you subtract. And then that's select both of them, shape format, merge shape, subtract. There you go. Right. Then we have our insulin. Mm, so gradient fill into the insulin and yeah mm, no I'll change to a different color which color should I use green yeah green looks nice Okay, this is our insulin. Let me 
place it in here. Start making some uh, signaling proteins. Okay, let's also put a gradient into this. Which color should I use for this? Yeah, maybe blue. Because they're very... Dim um... I will add an arrow, line arrow. It's very straightforward in, in PowerPoint. Maybe two points wide and black. You can also change the arrow type. Like here, uh, we can change it to steel arrow and end arrow size. We can enlarge it if you want to like that. And this is pointing to SOS. Let's see. What's the next one? We also have a PI 3K. Okay. Gradient, radio gradient. I'll change it to purple. Um, so we need to create an inhibition sign like this, uh, align to the center group, you know, and yeah, the, <laughs> The general practitioners don't think they're making a lot of money. <laughs> You'll find out in a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be exciting. You know, um... Let's create two ellipse like this and then one rectangle in between. Okay. Uh, shape fill, I put the green in here. And then right click, edit points. Then we can activate this added points node. And when you click on the points, there will be handles. And when you move the handle, you can manipulate the trajectory of the path. Okay. I move the cross section uh, to the front and then gradient fill uh, linear gradient angle that's do uh, 90 degrees uh okay there we go so i have the darker color at the center and lighter on the two sides there's so many people on adderall in the western countries um these people are on so much drug Re comparing to comparing to Asian people. Hello, Sayeda. Welcome to the live stream. I'm drawing the insulin signaling pathway today because Yazid uh, suggested we should work on this in PowerPoint. So this is part of my signaling pathway series. I'm trying. was doing it wrong. So to create a curve arrow, that's so you just come over here. Uh, 
create an ellipse, remove the fill, right click, edit points, select one of the point here, uh, open path. And now we can delete the points. And with this, we can make it into a uh, let's do dash line arrows like that yeah I think then it looks nicer let me keep this one so change oh so change the color to black okay two and a half There you go. Okay, for glucose, let me let me do a hexagon. So this will be glucose. I will make the nucleus. I'll just copy this vesicle, make it bigger. And then I will come up here to open the outline menu. And in dash lines, I'll change it to this dash line. I want some events functions. So let me go to more lines. Then we can open the format shape panel again. And here I will change the cap type to round. So now we have the nucleus with the pores. Maybe just like something darker. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. You know, then th this still look like the same cell, but with a different compartment. And I need to move these up. Okay, and GSK3 inhibits glycogen synthase. Arrange brain to front. Let me copy this, place it here. 